Hi everyone and welcome back. My name is Kit and today is Sunday, January 19th, 2020. So today I have a crochet chat video and I have lots of things to talk about. But um, let's go ahead and just get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is Rose from Rose Likes Crochet. She is helping out an organization called Wings and she has asked some of us who crochet and or knit to like make hats and scarves and washcloths and dish towels and pot holders to send to this organization so again it is called wings and if you haven't seen her video go check it out i will try to find it to put a link down into the description box below but i have made four hats so far so i am planning on making hats and pot holders and washcloths to send to wings. So this is the first hat and it is the divine hat and I know Rose likes this pattern. So she makes divine hats a lot. So uh, she will probably like this one. Now I followed the tutorial from Ruby, I think it's Ruby or Rudy, Rudy Stedman. And this hat turned out quite large. So I don't know what I did wrong or I don't know what's going on, but it turned, it is quite large, so I'm hoping someone has a larger head and can wear this one. But it turned out nice, and I use the I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby to make this one. So there's one hat. And so I made another Divine hat, and this one is using Lion Brand Hometown USA, and I don't remember the colorway. And this one turned out quite large too, but it's a tad bit smaller than the one I just showed you. So, and that one is nice and thick, so it should keep someone really warm. And then I made this child size one. So this is the divine hat as well. And then the last hat I made is this ribbed beanie with a pom-pom. And this one I use Lion Brand Basic Stitch in the color Steel Blue. So this one turned out cute. Now I'm planning on making at least two or three more hats. So I will send everything out to Rose when I complete everything. So those are the hats I have completed. And I am also making pot holders right now. So this is one pot holder. And I really like the way this one turned out. And I am using the thermal stitch. It's a really nice dense stitch and I actually like it a lot and I'm gonna have to make myself some pot holders but this is using peaches and cream stripey and the colorway on this one is called beach house so this one turned out really pretty and then this is already using one skein so I needed to buy another skein to make this one a little bit larger so I will send maybe one or two pot holders. And then I am also planning on making washcloths. And I have this big skein of Burnett Handicrafter cotton that I will be using to make those washcloths. And this one is in the color marble print. So this one I bought when I went shopping a few months ago and I got it on clearance, I think for $3.97. So that is not a bad price for such a huge skein. And this one is 340 grams and it has 608 yards. So that is gonna make a lot of washcloths. And then I also bought more of the peaches and cream to make myself pot holders using the thermal stitch and this one is called green stripes and then i also bought some i think i bought three skeins of this colorway in the colorway quiet dahlia so yeah i will be making myself a couple of pot holders and then i will be sending some to wings and so that's my little project that I've been working on. I haven't really been working on much else. And I try to get as, I'm trying to get as many hats done as I can. So I might do about two or three more hats and then call it quits for now. Um, so the next hat I will be making, I'm not sure what pattern I'll be using, but I am using the Red Heart Super Saver and in the color Almondine, if that's how you pronounce it. So that's what I will be making my next hat 
out of. So I might be able to get two hats with this one skein. So we'll, we'll, we will see what happens. So let's talk about my knit crate. It came in. So I just, I don't want to really talk about it. I just want to show you the colorway that I have received. And I was planning on canceling knit crate, but I think I am going to keep it. So for this month, which is January's, I received a $10 off coupon. So I only uh, paid $14.99 for this month's knit crate. So that was pretty cool. And this is the colorway that I got. So I am very excited, very pretty yarn. And they're, they're actually different. So this one has the deep blues, like navies and royals, where this one has some purple and gray and blues in there. So I think they were meant to be paired together, but either way, the yarn is really nice and it's soft. And it's Knitology by Knit Crate. It is Knitology Worsted Colorway Royal Court. This one is Royal Court. And this colorway is Empire. And it is 100% super wash merino wool. It is worsted weight, 225 yards, and each hank is 100 grams. So I'm happy with this colorway. It's really, really nice, and the yarn is soft, so I'm happy. I have yet to make something with my Knit Crate yarn, but we'll see. I will get to that soon. I have so many projects here in mind, and I just don't have time to do them all. So one day I will get to my Knit Crate, and I will use the yarn to make something. So let's see what else I have. Um, the sweater that I showed you last time for my daughter Madison, I am working on one sleeve right now. As you can see, I am almost done with the one sleeve and then I have to add like a little cuff and then I will be working on the other sleeve and adding a cuff and then I will make two pockets for the front and then her cardigan will be complete. So I have at least another inch or so for the sleeves on this side and then that side will be done. So I can't wait to finish that. I've been working on it yesterday and then a little bit today. And then yesterday, I dyed some more yarn. So I want to show you uh, two colorways. Like I said, I don't name them because I have no idea what to name them. But this one has the pinks, the deeper pinks and the purple and a little bit of blue. So that one turned out great. And then this is my absolute favorite. The way this one turned out, I was amazed. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Like, I love that. So here you have like the deep maroons and it goes to purple. And that goes to like a blue with speckles in it. And then it goes to like an ice blue. It is so pretty. And I like the way it turned out. Now what I did to dye this yarn is I just rolled up the yarn into a ball. So I hand rolled it into like a little ball like this. And then what I did was I added purple food coloring with magenta and teal all in one pot. And I submerged the ball of yarn into the hot water. So what happened is I will undo this to show you because it is very pretty so the part that has the maroon was on the outside of the ball so and then from the maroon this is the outside so it goes in to the inside of the ball so the ice blue color was the inside of the ball of yarn so what this created was like a like an ombre maybe if that's what you call it but I absolutely love this colorway. Look at how pretty that turned out. So from the maroon to the speckled blue to the ice blue, this is my favorite so far, my absolute favorite. Look at how pretty that turned out. I love it. So I am actually going to make something with this soon. I was thinking about making a scarf, like a scarf using the v-stitch so 
when I get that completed, I will show you what it looks like. And I, if it turns out really nice, I will definitely have to dye another hank of this. Try to get it in the same colorway because that is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I love the way it turned out. And I didn't think it would turn out that way, but it did. And I'm very proud of how gorgeous this color is. So I'm excited to make something with this. And then I will show you when I have that complete. So what else am I working on? I was actually thinking of doing a temperature blanket. So I was watching Tony from TL Yarn Crafts and she had made a Tunisian temperature blanket uh, last year for 2019. And I think she's working on another one for 2020. And I see a lot of people doing temperature blankets and I have my colors picked out but I don't know if I want to commit to doing a temperature blanket. I know it's a year long project and it's already almost the end of January and I haven't done anything besides pick up my colors. So I don't know if I want to do it or if I should just wait until 2021 to start a temperature blanket. Cause right now I have four blankets going all at the same time. I have little whips here and there that I'm working on and I work full time and I'm a mom and I'm a wife. So I don't know if I will have time to work on a temperature blanket every day or every weekend. So we'll see if I do start one, I will probably start one after my birthday. So my birthday is coming up February 13th. And if I do decide to start one, I might start one on my birthday and then end it next year on my birthday. So we'll see. It gives me time to finish up some of my current whips right now. So that way I don't have a lot to do all at once. So um, one last thing. I am doing a yarn swap with Tracy from Crochet Rocks. So I emailed her last week. And I wanted to do a yarn swap with someone who, um, not necessarily someone who doesn't live in the U.S., but I wanted to have a swap partner where they can send me yarn that I can't get here in the U.S. So I decided to contact Tracy and we're doing a yarn swap. So I will be mailing out her package sometime next week because I... I'm not going to show you guys what yarn I'm sending just in case she's watching this video, but I did pick out some really nice yarn, I think, and then some that I put in there were some of my favorites. So I hope she will like that box because I will get it mailed out to her next week sometime. So it's going to the UK. So I don't know how long that'll take, maybe like two, two and a half weeks to three weeks. So hopefully the package arrives in one piece and she gets to enjoy the yarn that I picked out for her. So I can't wait for that. So I think that's all I have for you guys today. It's been a busy weekend and uh, I had to take my daughter Sage yesterday to get her hair cut because her hair was really long, like down to her butt. So we cut off like five inches. <laughs> now she's happy. And just uh, the girls don't have school tomorrow because it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So they're excited about that, but I do have work, so I have lots of things to do, but um, I just want to say thank you guys for everything. Thank you for subscribing and liking and watching my videos. Um, I just ended a giveaway. A giveaway ended yesterday and uh, winners were Brenda and Debbie. So everyone say congratulations if you haven't seen that video. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is I still have that 46 skein of yarn that nobody claimed and I really want to do another giveaway for that but I'm thinking of holding off until February because I have two giveaways I need to mail out one person already contacted me and then I'm waiting for the other winner to contact me so I have to send out three packages this month and it gets quite costly so I will do that 46 skein giveaway around my birthday and I'm going to switch it up. Whatever yarn I had in there previously, I'm just going to take some out and then replace it with different yarns. So, but I will go over all that in another video sometime in February. But I just want to say I do appreciate you guys watching and liking and subscribing and let me know what you guys think of this. <laughs> I thought it turned out gorgeous and I can't stop looking at it because it is so pretty 
and I definitely like it. I will be working up a V-stitch scarf with that pretty soon. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. And that's it, I guess. So have a nice rest of your weekend, and I will see you next time. Bye.